Bravo! Hostiles are taking Charlie! How did I not get that kill, you jumping bitch? Oh, I got the, I got the kill cam. <laughs> Try jumping like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Call of Duty. Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. I'm back in Modern Warfare 2019. So I was putting together my thoughts for a video I'm going to be doing on we're seven months into modern warfare 2's release cycle and i've literally run out of motivation to play the game which kind of prompted me to put together a video about all the things that i think are wrong with modern warfare 2 and as part of that i was like man modern warfare 2019 is still in my opinion the best call of duty game they've ever put out and i was just like man modern warfare 2 is just literally a worse version of modern warfare 2019 like in every way it's worse so I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I'll just jump in to Modern Warfare 2019. See if I'm just remembering things with rosy glasses. I don't think I am, but let's give it a shot. Uh, I don't do Hardpoint in 2019 because I felt like it doesn't play as well as it did in Modern Warfare 2. So maybe that's something that is better in Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to add Hardpoint in there just to see. Uh, matter of fact, let's just jump directly into Hardpoint and see why I think it wor was worse in this game. And maybe it's not. So yeah, let's jump in. What do I got set up here? I got my unicorn -y kit here, which I love. So Modern Warfare 2019 is another one of those games where I enjoyed it so much. I played it so much. I bought skins and stuff for it with real money because it felt like that added to some of my enjoyment in the game, including well into its life cycle. Even after like Vanguard came out, I, I did that. And if you guys remember from some of my Modern Warfare 2019 videos, my original platform for 2019 was on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4, well, PlayStation 4 came out <laughs> last generation. You'll see that I'm playing it on the Series X now. My PlayStation, my Modern Warfare disc got a little scratched up and I couldn't get it at least on my PS5 to play. It still played fine on my PS4, but for whatever reason, the PS5 wouldn't play it from the disc. But I enjoyed the game so much, even when Vanguard was out, that I bought the digital version of Modern Warfare on Xbox. So I own the disc on PS4. I own it on a Xbox platform now. Yeah, I bought, I paid, I think, 40 bucks for it. So I bought this game twice. That's how much I enjoyed it. Uh, so anyway, let's jump in. Uh, Al Rob is another one of the, is one of those maps that got added to Modern Warfare after its basically life cycle is over. This got like added back in. I don't even know after Cold War, something like that. Let's just jump in and play. Have some fun. Use my unicorn kit just for funsies. Maybe I'll share some thoughts about this versus Modern Warfare 2 as we go, or maybe I'll just enjoy- I don't know. We'll see. Let's just play the fucking game. Hard point. Alright. I'm a little nervous about how this is going to go. Oh, starting out, you do actually move quite a bit slower in this game than you do in Modern Warfare 2. Which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing, but that is immediately noticeable. I didn't realize how much Modern Warfare 2 turned speed up. The movement also feels a little bit more realistic, like I feel like I'm bobbing a little bit more. Big flank. Am I in a bot lobby? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Were those real people? Game does feel a bit more sluggish. Oh god. That guy has to be a bot. <laughs> There's no way that guy didn't fire at me. Is this just... Is there only like 8 year olds still playing this game? <laughs> uh, I feel like my sensitivity has increased a little bit too in Modern Warfare 2. So I might have to turn that up. Look at this! Are you a bot? Are these real players? Are these? These gotta be real players, right? 
Level 20, 30, I don't... I mean, this game is what? Four years old now, so it could just be that... Competent players aren't playing it anymore. Oh, that's right, there's no... There's no drill charges in this game, that would have been nice. So the thing I didn't like about Hardpoint in this game that I like about it in Modern Warfare 2 is that it gives you like a 10 second warning for where the next point's gonna be. Because the problem with Hardpoint previously in Call of Duty games is that for people who had memorized the rotations, it was really hard to compete when when the team that you're playing against rotates to the next hard point before it's even announced and you have no idea where it is. That's just a huge advantage. Woo! Alright, these guys aren't total bots, but I'm still a little confused. The view bobbing is actually a bit severe here. Shot's a little sloppy here. Alright. Yeah, the movement in this game is not nearly fast enough to be, like, leaping around like in Modern Warfare 2. You definitely have to be more deliberate here. Thought that friendly was still back there. Dude, shut up. <laughs> I was sloppy. Basically using that deployable cover as a decoy. Ho! The hard point doesn't play bad because the gameplay is solid. But yeah, the... The way that they do hardpoint rotations is just, it's, it made it so much better in the new game. No, 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 no! Don't shoot me. Nope! <laughs> <laughs> they all fucking mobbed in there, huh? Nope, 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 nope. Holy shit balls. Where are they coming from? Need to push out there. Woo! Mm. Not expecting that corner there. Not this time, sir. No cluster. Hadouk. Well played. Excuse, please. Woo! Oh, your friend is still over there. Oof, ugly aim. Ugly aim. Oh, that's right, Dead Silence activates without you having a big loud speaker in your hand in this game. 
Killed around the corner, did you? Get in there, teamies. What the bot? <laughs> okay. I mean, we are losing, but it feels like these guys are pretty garbage. What? He did see me. I was like, what? Are you coming back too? <laughs> what the two step? Woo! Those one hit kill weapons still. Still. Don't run through the middle, Wheezy. That was ugly. Don't come out that door. Ah, oh, friendly. Explode! Does take quite some time to move into position. Definitely feels more tactical. Oh! Still not a fan of hardpoint, but the gameplay is solid. It's just the rotations. That little change made all the difference, honestly. Also, if you have a team that plays the objective, that probably would help too, I suppose. Kill confirmed, a domination, a team deathmatch, the go-to modes for this game. Daily challenges in this work. They still, most of the time, the bonus daily challenge just does not work in Modern Warfare 2 most of the time. Your perks work all the time. Amazing. The class screen makes perfect sense to navigate through your classes. <laughs> that only recently got minorly fixed in Modern Warfare 2, and it's still pretty... Not great. All right, we're gonna do one more here just to make the point. What what game mode did this select for us? Kill confirm. All right, that's a good one. This is the best Call of Duty ever made. It just is. I'm trying to. Th the maps are all really good. The maps are all mostly three lane designs. I'm trying to think of a. I'm trying to think of one of these Modern Warfare 2019 maps that I really don't like. I'll have to go look through. I'll to, at, when we're done with this, I'll go look through the map list. Yeah, it's amazing. The movement in Modern Warfare 2 just feels so turbocharged compared to this. <laughs> I was like, I heard him, but where's he going to be? An awkward moment. They are just getting pinned back, huh? We gotta get back there to get those tags, otherwise this doesn't do any good. Oh! oh! Sitting back by them barrels. <laughs> Skiz, please, can I come up here? Thank you. No, 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 no. Flanky flanked. Yeah, people sitting in the back corner of that map. That feels like part of this map that's excessive. It doesn't need to go all the way back there, and there certainly doesn't need to be places for them to sit back there. But other than that, this map plays really well. When you don't come up against a team that sits in the back of that street, this map actually plays really well. But when you have people that literally just sit back at the end of this street, it's awful. <laughs> I'm just sitting back there. They just look literally sitting behind that cover on the left. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Prone? A prone? This is terrible. This is quite terrible, I will say. But that's not the map's fault. This team is just playing like fucking douchebags. Can I sneak across here to the tag? <laughs> of course. Of course, the cruise missile. 
All right, this is insufferable. No, I'm not. No, we're gonna do one more because that's fucking terrible. I am not continuing to play that game. Mm -mm. Not with that team playing like that. Fuck that. Ugh. You're like that far into the game and they literally haven't left that corner. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's right. You had watches in this game. It's, I'm sorry. Gun screens are the dumbest thing in the world. I've never used it just because it looks fucking ridiculous. Who the fuck thought instead of watches putting a screen on your gun was a good idea? Uh-huh. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, how long have I how long have I played this? 12 days, 17 hours, 34 minutes of this game. Oh, did it say it right there? Oh yeah, there we go. Weapon of choice M13. Did I just pass the fucking For like so long it's been the Odin just because like I I was doing like those weapon breakdown videos and the Odin was like I used it a ridiculous amount of time to try and complete all the challenges. It took like over a thousand kills to try and get that yeah. So for like ever that's been the top one, but I guess since I have this unicorn one now, it's now officially my number one. Yay! Alright, Rust! A remake map. Not great, but also not terrible. As far as small maps go, it's not terrible. Excuse me. Oh man, that is such a slow crawl. What the? Bad spawn? Woo! Just ducked under with that slide. God, I feel like this still it. This is not kind of the representative experience I wanted for uh, going back to 2019. But still, still better than. I say still better than Modern Warfare 2 as I get a shipment spawn. All right, you coming around? God, and the footsteps are not obnoxiously loud and clompy. Rust falls roughly into that same category as shipment for maps that I don't like in this game just because they're a little small. Rust is objectively better than shipment, but also just one of those tiny little arena maps that's too random for my taste. Yeah, we're going to leave this one too. We're not going to. We're going to find a... Actually, let's go through the maps real quick before we do the last one. All right. Isle, Isle 9. Is this like a... This is like a gunfight map, like a smaller version of that. Okay. I'll rob. I like that. Good map. Uh, Nia Incursion. That's a ground war map, but that one was fun to play. The Palace, ground war map. Good one. Arklov Peak. I don't know how I remember that one. I don't know. Atlas Superstore is a good map. Again, three-lane map. Atrium Ground War map. Maybe. Azir Cave. I actually don't dislike this map. It's not great, but it gets a lot of hate. But it's it's all right. It's not what? Oh, that's another gunfight map. Broadcast. A class. A remake map. This one's pretty good. I was never a huge fan of Broadcast, but it's not bad. Still a, kind of a stacked three-lane, but not awful. Cargo. I don't know. Cheshire Park is, is a pretty good one. Crash is classic. A great map. Uh, docks, gunfight, drainage. No, that was another gunfight one. Euphrates Bridge. This one was in the map rotation when the game came out, and then I think they removed it because um, it was it felt pretty unbalanced. Uh, Grazna Raid. Oh, I remember this one. That's a good one. All right. Gulag Showers. Gun Runner is a good one. Hackney Yard is a good one. Hard Hat's a good one. Hills a gunfight map. Hovex Sawmill is a good one. Kandar Hideout is a good one. I just... All of these game games. Livestock was a bigger map. I remember playing that a little bit. Alstor Factory is pretty good. Not one of my favorites. Oil Rig's good. Piccadilly is good. Like, Ramaz is good. So many good maps. Scrapyard, good remake map. Shoot House. Yeah, just so many... So many good maps in this game. So let's see if it'll drop us into one. <laughs> Rust shipment aren't really on that list. Like I said, I like that map that I was on before that. The other team is just playing like dickholes. 
So this game obviously had skill-based matchmaking, but it didn't seem to have extreme level of engagement optimized matchmaking that Modern Warfare 2 has, where you very obviously put in games that you're get put in games that you're meant to win, and you very obviously get put in games that you're meant to lose. I don't remember having that impression as strongly in this game, but it definitely was a thing. And you definitely played at people of your skill level. You didn't you didn't get just thrown in with a bunch of randoms where, you know, a player like me, if if you just took any smattering I heard you. If you took it's a 6v6 mode. If you took any other 11 people at random and put them in a game with me, there's a good chance that I would just fucking tear a lot of them apart just because I've been playing Call of Duty for fucking 20 years. It is what it is. Now, people at my level, even though I don't play like a jumping retard, the people who tend to be at my level tend to have to jump like retards to do it. So that's who I end up with. I don't know if that sounds kind of douchey, but the reality is if you've been playing a game for 20 years and you're, you're going to be better at it, than someone who's only been playing it for a couple, even if they put more hours in. It just is what it is. Now, if I played like some of these, you know, pro players, if I played eight hours a day, then I'd be, you know, even better, but... And someone who's only maybe been playing for ten years, who plays for eight hours a day, is gonna be better than me. The reality of anything is you do it more, you're gonna be better at it. Was he prone? How did I... Didn't see him crouched up there. All right. Domination on this map is actually really good. There's always a good push-pull. That B map, that B point is really kind of difficult to take. Requires some tactics or some support to really do it. Some really epic battles, kind of. An <laughs> RPG. Heard those footsteps a little too slow. I might need to go even higher on my sensitivity. It's pretty good right now. The responsiveness of the field upgrades is a little bit slower in this too. Like I'm not able to <laughs> not able to tap the buttons as quickly to deploy my cover. The time to kill in this game is, you know, slightly, but significantly slower. Like, I don't mean significantly slower, like a lot slower. I mean, it's slightly slower, but enough that it makes a difference. In that it doesn't feel you like you get instantly deleted, especially when you come up against a better weapon or a faster time to kill weapon. This guy back up here. Also, not having to worry about whether or not you're going to be hanging when you hurdle over something is good. That hanging mechanic is absolutely a garbage addition. Matter of fact, I'm going to add that to my notes. Ledge hanging. Terrible, stupid, pointless addition to Modern Warfare 2. It actively makes the gameplay worse. Are we worried about flipping spawns? Alright. I won't do it. I won't do it. Let's let him spawn. Shit. Actually going to get it or no? No? Don't you be chasing after me like I'm not wearing headphones, you piece of shit. Come on, buddy. Drop the mine. See up top. Oh yeah. Friendly. Got him. Reloading. Keep hearing footsteps that sound vaguely enemy. Very bow. Brr brr brr. 
Larry Bobity Bee. This is not a good place to push A from. I always I always feel like when I come in here, I'm like, this is gonna be a good route, and then it just isn't, because you have to go through the open and try and duck in that building. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Unless you can push straight towards that objective in the open, which is also a bad idea. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, friendly. Alright. I'm sorry, I thought there was an enemy in here. What do you want How did I not get that kill, you jumping bitch? <laughs> Try jumping like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Call of Duty. Okay, minions. That was still. It was not the best experience in Modern Warfare 2019. Still the best Call of Duty that's ever been made. If they want to make Modern Warfare 3 as good as Modern Warfare 2019, all they need to do is undo everything they did in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Go back to this and build new maps that are three-lane maps. All right, if you want to add some more guns or something like that, but keep it in this time to kill, okay. Maps like this, time to kill like this, gameplay movement like this, Although I still think that they should discourage jumping. I think if you jump, you shouldn't be able to fire. And after you land, it should be about half a second before you can fire. Accurately, if at all. Needs to completely discourage jumping because that's fucking dumb. Other than that, such such great, such great greatness. Alright, minions, if you got to the end of this, you can leave me a like because you probably liked it, right? If you didn't like it and you keep hate watching my videos, I appreciate you. But you can leave me a dislike. If you're new here... I mean, I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of Modern Warfare 2019 videos, even though this is a better game. I've actually been playing Insurgency Sandstorm more, so subscribe if you want to see more stuff like that. And in fact, I'm going to link you to an Insurgency Sandstorm video at the end of this one, so you can go watch a first-person shooter that has a really fast time to kill, but in a game that's designed to support that style, and that doesn't allow you to jump around like a fucking idiot. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.